तेरे से मुगैम वो खुश हुआ मुगैम बा खुश हुआ तेजा मैं हूँ मार्क इधर है ते और मैं और मार्क तेजर है regarded as the greatest cricketers of all time now he may be from south africa but he is loved all around the world especially india on this episode of the legends i am meeting jack collis now is that a correct pronunciation of his name let's meet him and find out hello welcome to curly tales well first Thank things you. first i want to know how to correctly pronounce your name it's said differently around the world and it doesn't bother me too much sure callus but uh, anything goes <laughs> oh i just call you jack callus yeah, how right. how wrong was i there nah, you know. <laughs> yeah we all know of you as an all rounder but what do you like to consider yourself a batsman a bowler what is it batting all rounder to be <laughs> to yeah be precise, but uh, yeah i enjoyed doing both i was fortunate enough to do both now you are from south africa and uh, for anybody who visits south africa what are the places that you would highly recommend that they should visit i'm going to be bass and say cape town cuz i'm from from cape town um, okay. it's always a great place to visit and then i enjoy the bush as well so um up north you get some great places to go in the bush for the wildlife yeah absolutely and have you had the time to explore doha as well we've had a, a little bit of time to get out a few days off where we could get out and see a little bit of it so i thoroughly enjoyed it yeah and yeah it's been a, a great experience you know there's a huge uh, indian community living in south africa have you been that side Um, yeah, I haven't been into the community there, but obviously been to Durban. Yeah, massive Indian community there, but uh, yeah, it's always always nice. A, a big cricket following, so um, yeah, good place to play cricket. Uh, what about food? Have you tried the Indian food? <laughs> yeah, enjoy food. Butter chicken is probably my favourite. Oh, um, is it? Yes, yeah, okay. so I really enjoy that. Yeah. The Indians living in South Africa came up with a dish called bani chow. Yeah. Have you had that? I have. Yes, yeah, no, it's well known to South Africa. So yeah, um, yeah, it's a, a fantastic dish that every now and again like and, and enjoy. You've been a part of uh, you know Royal Challengers Bangalore as well. So what about some South Indian food? Have you tried that or not really? Yeah, I think during the IPL you careful of what you eat unless you get a few days off just in case. But um, yeah, I, I certainly do get a little bit adventurous. Uh, some <laughs> of the locals um, sort of tell me what to eat and, and what to try. So I, I've tried most dishes. But when you talk about South African food, what is it that you truly enjoy or would highly recommend to everybody watching? You can't go wrong with a braai. Um, I'm no good in the kitchen, but I'm good around a fire. So any time we're braaiing meat and and that is is really good. I think everybody else calls it a barbecue, but we use wood, which is a braai. We'd like to know about uh, your journey as well. So how did cricket happen to you? You are quite a legend. Would love to know how it all started. I just started as a young kid playing all sports. Okay. Um, Yeah, and then sort of towards the back end of my schooling career, to choose which sport to to play, and I thought we'd give cricket a a go for a year or two, and if that didn't work out, then go and study. But you know, fortunately, it worked out, and here I sit today. Why is your nickname Vogi? Am I right? Just names that the guys come up with. So we got names that we call each other. No specific reason. Close mates called me that, and it's just kind of stuck. And I actually don't know exactly where it came from, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Which has been your most memorable match till date? Probably beating. Australia in Australia and England in England in the yeah. Test series. I think those those are probably the most memorable games that we got certainly in terms of, of proper test cricket. We're going to play a fun game which is called Who's Who. Okay, so I'm going to name a few animals or mammals and you have to tell me which player represents that animal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Shark. Probably shy back to because he was cutthroat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Elephant. Maybe a Graham Smith. Any reason why? No. <laughs> <laughs> a wolf. Somebody who leads the pack. Or is a team um, player. Um, yeah, I suppose Hansi Kornia would have been that for me. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And finally, Tiger. Royal, courageous, confident, and yet calm. Maybe an A. B. De Villiers. Super. Do you follow Bollywood? Do you know anything about? Uh, very little. Um, yeah, more Hollywood type of guy, but you know a little bit about Bollywood, but not much. And and do you know any Hindi words or? Slang? No, no, no. I haven't. I've learned a couple <laughs> along the way, but I don't think they're, they're good words. The boys always teach the naughty words. <laughs> okay. So have you been taught any Hindi words so far? Yeah, yeah, I have. Okay. Would you like to share? No, I'm not allowed to share those you're words. You're not allowed yet. to. No, no, no. <laughs> you're not sure whether they are they are swear words or they are good yeah, words. Yeah, I don't or think what? they're good words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you have you ever spent time exploring India? Do you like anything about the country? I the haven't culture? had too much chance to to get out. Um, yeah. Yeah, because obviously it's, the schedule is so so tight. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoy the the country. I've toured there for many years and got great memories from it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to attempt at teaching you a few Bollywood dialogues. 
ओके थप्पड़ से डर नहीं लगता प्यार से लगता है I've got an office job now in asset management. I've got a foundation that I run for kids. Um, so yeah, I've kept very busy trying still to stay um, active sport-wise. Um, not involved in in cricket too much. Uh, yeah. Try to get away from that. So. But do you miss being in the limelight? No, not one bit. Not one bit, no. really. I mean, isn't it hard to just give it all up? No, 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 no. That's why I knew I retired at the right time. It's nice to to be in my own space and have my own time, a lot more of my own time. So I don't miss it at all. Yeah. Okay. And how how do you take care of your physical as well as your mental health? I enjoy still still training, uh, spend a bit of time in the gym, play some golf. Um, mental health is easy because I you know I got to work in asset management, so it keeps the brain ticking over. So yeah, it's, I certainly haven't sat down and done nothing. And any anybody from the Indian cricket team who you really like or watch out for, maybe a former cricketer or even the existing current team? I think the way India has, has changed cricket, I think it's been really good. So any time that they're playing. Uh, cricket, they're always interesting to watch. Um, some exciting players. Um, a lot of them created through T20 cricket and, and made cricket really fun. Yeah, wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Thank you.